refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth, for man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. I'd rather be last. I'd rather be last. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, yes, yes. Look at someone else because they didn't get it because someone likes to be first all the time. My and God. tell them, say, neighbor, I'd rather, neighbor. I'd rather be, be last. Be last. Uh, part two of the text is called the uncelebrated anointed. Ah, come on, God. Hallelujah. Yes, God, yes, God. Mm. Understand this. Uh, notice here, uh, the Bible says that uh, uh, he says to Samuel the prophet Samuel, God speaks to him and says, "How long will you mourn for Saul, yes, seeing yes. that he has been rejected from being king?" Amen. What you have to understand, people of God, that the only reason why Saul is in position is because Samuel chose him. Right. And you've got to understand that when Samuel chose them, Samuel was in a place of being broken. Amen. Hmm. Amen. Uh, when you're talking about preacher, understand here that Samuel was frustrated with the children of Israel because of the fact that they didn't want a man, a prophet, but they wanted to be like all the other nations and have a king. Come on, somebody. Touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor, it's very dangerous to try to act like someone else. It's very dangerous to try to be like someone else. It's very dangerous to try to carry the anointing like somebody else. But touch somebody and say, neighbor, I'd rather just flow the way God have called me to flow. Uh, am I talking to anybody in here? But notice here, there is a problem with the text because Samuel, amen, uh, he picked Saul out of the tribe of Benjamin, praise the Lord. And notice, amen, that he picked Saul because he stood above all of the others, hallelujah. And a lot of times, amen, we look at those that stand above everybody.